guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today is all about the properties of a square. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Alright, so the first property of a square, it says all four sides are congruent. So therefore, it means that all sides are equal. So this side right here, okay, is congruent to this side. And this side is congruent to this side, same as this side. All four sides are equal. So therefore, if we have, uh, let's name this one. If we have a square named Clark, so let's, or let's say love, okay, square love. So, if we have a square love and given LO, if LO is 5, just an example, if LO is 5, so therefore, OV must be also 5, and EV is also 5, and LE is also 5. Because all four sides are, e are congruent, are equal, okay, according to its first property of a square. Let's go to the second property. All four interior angles are equal to 90 degrees. What do you mean by that, sir? So, interior angle class, this, these are the interior angles. This one. Okay. This angle L. This one. Angle O. Angle V. And angle E. So, those are interior angles and they are equal to 90 degrees. Okay. That's according to the properties of a square. 90 this angle l is also 9 is is 90 degrees angle o is also 90 angle v is 90 and angle e is 90 that's according to the properties of e square so next is consecutive angles are supplementary sir sir what do you mean by consecutive angles this one angle e and angle l are consecutive angles angle l and angle o are consecutive angles angle o and angle v are consecutive angles now they are told that consecutive angles are supplementary sir what do you mean by supplementary the the meaning of supplementary class the sum of two angles when you add it it should be 180 180 degrees the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees so consecutive angles this one e and l so if we add this one e of course we know that e is 90 degrees so 90 plus 90 this is 180 so consecutive angles if we add angle l and angle o that should be 180 90 plus 90, that's 180. Angle O and angle B, if we add that, that's still 180. So therefore, consecutive angles are supplementary. Now, let's go to the diagonals of E square. So let's draw a line. Sir, so what if we draw a diagonal? Okay, let's do that. So diagonal bisect each other. Okay, bisect each other. So let's draw a diagonal for a square. So what if we draw a diagonal? So, this is diagonal LV. Okay, diagonal LV. And we draw a diagonal from O to E. Okay. Alright, so what if we draw a diagonal? What happened to our uh, square now? So, diagonal bisect each other. Sir, what do you mean by bisect? The word bisect class, it means that they cut, okay, they cut a line or an angle into two equal parts. So, since we are the referring with a line, so diagonal bisect each other, this LV, okay, this LV bisect line OL, this LV bisect line OL, from the word bisect, they, uh, this LV here cut this line OL into two equal parts. So, therefore, this E. Okay, we, if we put a point here, if this is point uh, D, okay, if this is point D, so this LB cut this EO, this diagonal EO, into two equal parts. So this, therefore, this, this ED, this line ED is congruent to line DO or OD. Okay, so diagonal bisect each other. And this and this EO, this line EO, bisect this line LB into two equal parts. So, th therefore, this VD, this line VD is congruent to line LD. Alright? So, this VD is congruent to line LD. And since we already know that diagonals are congruent in a square, so... Check this one class. I will check this one. We already done with this one. Diagonals are congruent. This one class. The, 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 the last one. Diagonals are congruent. 
So that's what that's one of one of the pro, one of the properties of a square. Diagonals are congruent. So therefore, this LB. Okay, if LB measures, this is just an example. If LB measures ten. So okay, if we write LB is ten. LB is ten. Line LB is ten. Therefore, line EO is also EO is also ten. Sir, why is that? Because diagonals are congruent. That's one of the properties of a square. And since we already know that this line, uh, this line EO bisect line LB, and this line LB bisect line EO, so therefore this line is equal to this equal to this line. This line is equal to this line. Therefore, all of these lines, DO, DV, DE, and DL, are congruent in a square. Because the diagonals are congruent already. Okay, so if we cut this one, this e EO into half. Okay, if EO is 10, so if EO is 10, so therefore ED must be 5 and OD must be 5. So therefore, this VD must also be 5 and, L and LD must also be 5. Alright, so that's the properties of a square. Let's try this one. Diagonals are perpendicular. Next, diagonals are perpendicular. Sir, what do you mean by that? Diagonals are perpendicular. Therefore, if you talk about perpendicular class, when they bisect each other, they form a 90 degrees angle. So this angle here, this one, angle ODV, ODV forms 90 degrees. The word perpendicular class, it means that they form at 90 degrees right angle. Okay? And this angle here is also 90 degrees. E, D, V is also 90 degrees. L, D, E is also 90 degrees. And L, D, O is also 90 degrees. That's the meaning of perpendicular. Next, diagonal bisect vertices. So, last one, diagonal bisect vertices. So, what do you mean by that, sir? Diagonal bisect vertices. It means that these vertices here, this vertex B, V, and vertex L, this diagonal bisect this vertices. Therefore, we already know that this is, we already know that angle B is 90 degrees, but since diagonal bisect vertices, the word bisect their class, it means that they cut the angle, they cut this angle into two equal parts. Therefore, always remember that one class, in the square, this angle here, if there's a diagonal bisect this vertices, this angle here is always 45 degrees and this angle on the bottom part is always 45 degrees. On the, on the top part, 45 degrees. This one is always 45 degrees. Just always remember that one class. In a square, that's 45, 45, which equals to 90. So this is 45. This angle here is 45 and this is 45. So that's it class. That's the properties of a square. That's the thing that you need to remember with regards to the properties of a square. Our next video is we will solve for a square finding all sides and all angles. So I will just put the link on the description below on solving a square finding all sides and all angles. I hope that you learned something new with regards to the properties of a square. Okay. So I hope you have a great day and goodbye for now. Please see the next video about finding all sides and all angles of a square. Bye for now. Bye-bye.